This episode of the Fiction Writers Podcast is brought to you by The Novel Notebook. With each character and each setting, hundreds of details must be compiled and organized, far too many for a writer like you to keep them cataloged in your brain. The Novel Notebook provides the answer. Visit www.fictionwriterspodcast.com slash novel and quickly discover how to organize your materials and take your novel to the next level. Welcome to the Fiction Writers Podcast with Lana McCara, where you will discover tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. Here you'll find new energy, new perspectives, new resources, and new ideas that will spark your creativity into a blaze of brilliance. It's easier than you think. Be sure you visit our website at www.fictionwriterspodcast.com. While you're there, subscribe to us via your favorite network. Now, get out your notebook, tune in, and let's get started. Sometimes character names just pop out of the blue. They just come to you, and other times we struggle. Here are some important things to know about creating your character names. My name is Lana McKira. Welcome to the Fiction Writers Podcast. Tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. So what about your characters? You could end up with eight, a dozen, two dozen different characters in the same book, depending on how long it is and how extensive it is. So what about those names? Well, there are a few important points to know about your character names. You do not want people to get confused about who is who in the book. So the first thing I would think about is what is the cultural attachment to the name? Does this name match the personality and the role of the character? If you have a strong character, a dominant character, that name should generally begin with a hard consonant, K, V, B. Those strong names, Victoria, Victor, um, those kind of names where you feel the strength. If you have a retiring, um, mousy kind of person that doesn't get out there much, maybe Anthony or Stanley or something like that. Now you... No, we don't want to do stereotypes. But if you look at movies, what are the names of these strong characters and these other characters? The, the ingenue, the, the young girl, they have certain names. And so this is not by accident. There are associations with different names. So be careful with that. Be careful. And I always, when I have a strong character or a villain, I'm looking for the K's the V's and the strong vowel, the strong consonants to start the name, both the first name and the last name. Another thing that I do is when people are mad, like side characters, if you have a couple of best friends who show up together, I might make their name somewhat similar. They could uh, start with the same letter or maybe have the same vowel, something to match them together so that you generally will say the names together. Lucy and Larry came in the door. So those names sort of go together. They rhyme together. Uh, not really rhyming, but they match. That's one trick I do. Another one that I do is I vary the lengths of the names. Some names are short. Todd. Some names are long, Alexander. And the length of the name is also important. Another thing that I do is I have a chart that has, uh, it's, a, it's a big graph table. I guess you call it a table in Microsoft Word with 26 boxes. And each box has a letter. And I print that. And when I'm making my character names, I put the names in the box according to the first name and the last name. So when I'm looking at more character names, I see, oh, I don't have any S's. What name could I use that's an S? Because I want to make them different. I've got a, law, a lot of long names in this book. So let me find a short one. And with all the character names on one page, 
And even if you have it in your in your computer and you're just typing them in, you can scan through and see what names have I used, what names, what what letters are not are not used yet. And that way you can keep the variety going in your book with these character names. Super important to always have the reader knowing who is who in the story. And don't forget double names. Double names. Billy Joe. Uh, there's a woman in a book that I read recently named Kitty Bell. I never heard that before. It always struck me. Kitty Bell. So maybe it's a name uh, that a child messed up. And, uh, you know, they, they said it wrong. But that became the person's nickname. Things like that. To try and make them unique and tell the story about where the name came from so that the reader can remember. When you have side characters, their names are also important because you want to encapsulate this person in just a few words. And so if the name matches their role, their story, and you know their part in the story, then you can do that with the name as well as with a few words of description. So make a name chart and use it to keep track of your names. I hope that helped you today. My name is Lana McKera. See you next time. Thank you for tuning into the Fiction Writers Podcast with Lana McKera, where we share tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. Remember to visit our website at www.fictionwriterspodcast.com and enjoy even more great episodes like this one. Again, while you're here, subscribe to us via your favorite network. We look forward to seeing you next time on the Fiction Writers Podcast.